Hi everyone, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're going to have fun because today we are going to be putting out a flame using carbon dioxide that we get to make ourselves. So welcome back everyone. You can see here I've got a few things that we're going to need and you should have them in your kitchen. So the first thing we're going to need is a candle. We'll also need some matches or a lighter, some vinegar, some bicarb soda, and a couple of jugs with a spout, a pouring spout. And finally we have a bowl and a spoon. Hey, welcome back everybody. What I've done is I've just put the vinegar into this small jug here. I've also put some, about five or six teaspoons of the bicarb soda into this bowl. So the first thing that we need to do, oh and by the way, this large jug, this is where we're actually going to be making the carbon dioxide. Now at the end of the video I'm going to explain how it works. But let's first just get into the experiment. Now of course, the whole goal of this is we're going to light a flame on the candle and we want to be able to put it out. And so, um, let's start by lighting it. And now we need to put it out. Now of course, fire needs three things to stay alight. It needs fuel, in this case, the fuel is the wax, and we have the wick, which helps to uh, keep the wax in place because, of course, it, it melts with the heat, and the wick uh, soaks it up. So we have the fuel. You also need oxygen. Of course, oxygen is in the ambient air around us, and we need heat for that as well. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to be extinguishing one of those sources. In this case, we are getting rid of the oxygen. And so what we're going to do is when we get rid of the oxygen, the flame will go out. So let's get started. Into your larger bowl, put in two or three teaspoons of bicarb soda. Now it's very important that you're in a place where there's no breeze or anything that may be putting out the flame for you. We now very carefully pour in the vinegar and I don't want you to disturb the jug. Now it's fizzing up. What's happening is we have a chemical reaction with the bicarb soda and the vinegar and it is causing carbon dioxide. So part of this reaction is the letting off of that carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is heavier than air, which means this jug is now filled with, imagine, with, with, with carbon dioxide. Now we can't see it, it's invisible. Let's now pour it because it's heavier than air. If we pour this jug, it'll put the flame out. And there we have it. And just see, the liquid, the vinegar, I didn't actually pour that. I just poured the carbon dioxide. As I turned the jug, the carbon dioxide that was inside came out of the spout and it fell onto the flame, putting it out. Pretty cool, huh?
Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. Please jump to our website, there's heaps of resources there, particularly in maths and English. Uh, if you liked today's video, please let me know. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.